which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, making an increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Amen. You know, the church as a whole, maybe say, church as a whole <coughs> needs to be unified in one mind, in one court. And, you know, when God saves us, I believe that He places a calling on each one's life. Brother Phillips. I believe God's placed a calling on his life to be a teacher. Sister Rose, she's a treasure. I believe God put a calling on her life to do that. I believe every person that's sitting in this building today has a calling and they need a position in the church. I don't think there should be one person left out. Everybody needs to have something to do in the church. Uh, uh, Sister Ola, she's the one that goes out and gets fires when somebody dies. Am I leaving anything out, Phil? No. As far as the, the uh, officers in the church. Oh, yeah. Everybody, yeah. He got it right. Okay. Now, we've got kids coming. And hopefully we're going to see more kids. But I think we're going to have to open the, the Sunday school room back up and start having Sunday school for the kids. Now, we're going to have to have a teacher. I don't know who it is. I don't know who does it before. But we need to be praying about that. If God laid somebody on your heart to nominate today, you do that. As we go into our business meeting. But our church is growing. And I don't want nothing to interfere with the church growing. Who knows? And this time next month, we may have to put out some church to accommodate everybody. But that's a good problem to have. Amen. Amen. So I want I want everybody to think this morning as we go into our business meeting. If, if, if there's somebody here that feels led to do something. Speak that. And then we'll discuss it. But the church is growing, and as it grows, we're going to have to add some God. Now, these ain't paid positions. They ain't a paid position in this building. I don't get paid. They give me a love offering every week, but I didn't ask for it. Because I don't believe in putting a price on the Lord God. And that's exactly what a preacher that draws a salary is doing. He's putting a price on the Lord God. And that is wrong. Read the Bible. It is wrong to put a price on the Lord God. These singers that you call up and they say, oh, we can come for $500 or we can come for $1,000. You know, you've got... The bigger the group is, you know, the more they're going to try to swindle you out of it. Now, I believe if we have a group that they ought to be paid because it takes gas. If you get a group out of town, they've got to get a motel room and they've got to have food while they're here. I believe in 
giving them a love offering. But don't. I told Ola when I first took the church, I said, don't ever bring a in here that expects money. Because that's putting a price on the word of God. I called one girl from that during the family, and I, I said, Do y'all charge? She said, Well, yeah. I said, How much? She said, Well, I'll tell you where I got life savings. And I said, Okay. She said, $700 and some dollars. I said, Well, you better get it. We can't pay that. Yeah. I said, Good luck to y'all. That's a high price on the word of God, eh? Yeah. Seven hundred and some dollars. And there wasn't much for it, I believe. <laughs> for it. Yeah. Well, any preacher or any singing group, even, even if you get a call from these people wanting to come to church, it's fine for preachers to come preach. I'll let him preach one time and see how he preaches. If he don't preach God's word, I won't ask him back. Same with the singing group. If they come, they're welcome to sing. But if they're not living what they're singing outside the church, they got no interest in them. And I assure you, got no interest in anybody that says, well, we'll come $700 or something. I mean, small churches. I tell them we're small. Just about, just about every person in here, I'm not saying all of them, but just about all of us that are in this church are on fixed income. Yeah. All right. Now, if the church's majority is on fixed income, where does that put the church? It's on fixed income too. <laughs> it's on fixed income too. Because, you know, if you draw a thousand dollars a month, your tithe is only a hundred dollars. I don't know how how much nobody draws. I know what I draw. And it ain't much. But if everybody had the tithes that I have to pay, This church would be on a probably a, a seven or eight hundred dollar budget every month. And you can't be paying singers to come sing or paying preachers to come preach. You'd be broke in no time with you, Sister Rose. Yeah. I'm going for the wrong reason. But I believe that ever ever every person when they get saved, God's got a gift for them. And I uh, I don't want to sound like a dictator. Lord knows I don't want to be a dictator. I want us to, to do what's godly and what's right. <laughs> but I would like to see a few changes made. Nothing big. But we've got to get organization within the church in order for the church to grow as it should. I mean, I've sat back and, and I've, I've watched all these business meetings. You know, and, and they go good. I mean, there's no confusion. Everything goes good. But we still need that organization to know to where we know what goes where and everything. I mean, the church has a right to know what's going on in the church. The members, they should know. And I'm not trying to stir nothing up. I'm just trying to get a little organization where we're lacking. And uh, before I call the Meeting the order, uh, I know that, uh, I think you brought the letters here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's the first.
first thing I want to do. And then secondly, I want to open the doors of the church because I don't even know who's actually members of And if God, if you're, if you feel at home here, and you feel this is where God wants you, I'm not talking to nobody. I don't know if anybody's got feelings that they want to join the church. You know? And like I say, I don't, I don't know who's members. Uh, who ain't? Well, <clears throat> when we all come here, me, Daniel, my wife, and Hubert, and everybody, they said that they didn't want to move their letters from their home church. So we put a book up there. We become chartered members of Valley Town Cemetery Chapel. And everybody signed the book. So we're chapter uh, charter members of Valley Town Baptist Church. Okay. That's the way they done it. Uh, well, they should be a book. Yeah, right here. with members' names. You know, if anybody wants to join, they should be added. Once we receive their letters, or how do they go about? I mean, there's different ways to join the church. You can join the letter, you can join the statement, or if you just get saved, you can join. By salvation. But uh, I didn't even realize we had it. Yeah, I've never seen it. But, you know, I just want to make sure that we are organized. You know, we carry it because, you know, you can get into legal stuff. And if you're not organized and you don't have your records, I don't know what they can do to you. Are we out? But, you know, there's in keeping up a church and keeping up the records and stuff. I don't know. But uh, I can I can see I'm boring everybody. <laughs> but I wanna I need a motion to open the doors of the church for business and for membership. Um, I need a second. Thank you. Okay. All right, our first order, I guess, will be the letters. Those are here to read them. Okay, a letter of transfer to Valley Town Community Chapel Church. Uh, this is to certify that Jerry Luther is a member of this church in regular standing and in compliance with request is given this letter of transfer. We list below the record of service. By order of the church, Sandy Carringer, church clerk, Lighthouse School Gospel Fellowship Church in Hayesville, North Carolina. The second letter is the letter of transfer to the Battle Town Cemetery Chapel of Andrew is to certify that Tammy Luther is a member of this church in regular standing and in compliance. With request is given this letter of transfer. We list below the record of service. By order of the church, Sandy Carringer, Church Clerk, Lighthouse School Gospel Fellowship Church of Hayesville, North Carolina. The third letter of transfer to the Valley Town Cemetery Chapel of Andrews is to certify that Bethany Luther is a member of this church and regular standing and in compliance with request is given this letter of transfer. By the order of the church, Sandy Carringer, Church Clerk, Lighthouse School Gospel Fellowship Church, Hayesville, North Carolina. Okay. Look, Griff, I'm going to let you moderate this. I don't think I should be moderating it. On the slip. Okay, well, I bring the church at this time that we nominate Jerry and his family, members of the Valley County Cemetery Chapel. <clears throat> Who all in favor, raise your hand. You got your anonymous, really wife, your daughter, and members of the Valley County Cemetery Chapel. Glad to have you. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. You got some more to bring up? Yeah. First <laughs> brother. Let me feel my business. Second. Uh, 
there's anybody here that's not a member that wants to join the church. No more. Now, do you want to? Well, I guess you'll have to do that. Well, we'll just wait for she's here and I'll open up the door again. How do you want to join the church? What do you mean, how do I want to join the church? You want to join by letter from the other church? You want to join by statement of faith? Um, I don't have a letter from the other church. I just like to join my gift. Okay. Give us a statement of faith. You know, I've been coming here, you know, off and on for quite some time over the course of years. And, you know, being in a uh, lot of work that I am, it's, you know, working off with me for new jobs as far as around the home. But I can tell you, um, I've been saved. Uh, I do, you know, we all backslid, we all have problems. <laughs> and uh, I thank the Lord for being by my side through everything I go through. Amen. Amen. He's been our with us on the job. He's been our with us in the family. And I'd like to join this church and, uh, and uh, be part of the growing of it. Amen. All right. Do we uh, have a motion to accept? We make a motion. Name or second? Your other job? Well, our son and our savings. 
Oh, that's right. Yeah. Now, but, oh, my bed. How much money you got in front of now? I got three hundred and fifty-six dollars and seventy-five cents in the flower fund. Okay. Um, I guess I need to write you a check for two hundred. Well, don't you wait for them. I get a little bit lower. Okay. Okay. You just, you okay. just keep us in touch. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. That goes quite. A we about six months a year, then. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I've got a question. Do we have somebody in the church that sends a card, maybe somebody that's in the hospital that we know, or, you know, that's sick at home? I used know? to did, but we just kind of lost track of that, of the, who was sick and addresses and things of that nature. Yeah. Well, you know, if we don't have an address, then I always pick up the phone and call, you know. Uh, does anybody have that job? Not unless you want it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do that if people let me know who's sick and okay. addresses. That'd be better if you do it because you've got access to the Stamps or when you buy stamps to call you? I keep the stamps anyway. I have to charge the church bill. Oh, okay. Or call you to any time. Good. I get Money. a lot of them in the mail. So they're not out. gracious. <laughs> really, it is. Most churches have a stamp for uh, account, you know, where they buy stamps and all that. That's, that's great. I've never charged. I would like to ask, would somebody else like to take over the decorations, the flowers, the changing of the flowers? Okay. Uh, sometimes I feel like maybe I ain't good enough to buy ones or something. It would be good to have somebody that put their input into it. Okay. Does anybody want to take that job? Changing the flowers in the church? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe John's wife would like to. We could talk to them. Okay. And if you know, if you get prior stuff, church for your mercy for it. Yeah. You know. Write <coughs> that down so that you don't forget. So when she joins, we can actually say y'all. What is her name? Jessica. Jessica Andrew. Hell, we've already got a job for her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, our, our business meeting always goes real smooth. And that's something to be thankful for. Because 90% of church squabbles happens because of a business meeting. Really, they do. But I just thank God that everybody does their job. Uh, mind me on Daniel, hey, your wife's name is Robbie. Robbie. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I know her name as good as mine. I mean, we grew up together for heaven's sake. Robbie, is there anything you would like to do in the church? You satisfied? Okay. If you ever want to do something, you, you come to me and we'll see about making a job for you. <laughs> now, one thing I want to bring up is Rose and Philip have worked hard in keeping this church up. They come every week unless they're sick. I think we ought to take it week about and give everybody a fair shake and not just lay it off on them to do it all the time. Because they're getting age on them. And I can still have it. Me too. Can you still have it? Yeah, we can still have it. Yeah, the okay. only time, I don't mind a bit in this world coming from the church. Me neither. Just yeah. the trash out. Um, so ain't too much to do, really? No. <coughs> Well, if you're satisfied, we will yeah. leave it the way it is. If we're sick or something, 
one Sunday if somebody wants to come. Yes. But if you ever get down in Cancun, call somebody okay. and ask them if they would give them to it. Okay. But it ain't hard to keep up, you know, just... No, you know. I mean, it's simple. You come in and you back him. If it's trash can, that's about it, you know. Yeah. I'm going to take your time to thank David for bringing them boards over here in yes. the Iron Church. David puts in a lot of work here, too. He sure does. Yeah, David's, we need to pay David's done a lot for How this. How much you owe you for that, Dave? You sure? What about the, uh, the, what you had to buy to do it with? I don't know if you want to share this. Well, we don't share it in this world with me. <laughs> well, we had that soundproof, or that sound booth built, and that guy said he didn't charge the church either, but he got paid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot. Did you ever, were you ever able to write that check for Tana? Yeah, yeah well, I did it. the last time we was here. Bill gave it to Ola, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. I just want to make We wrote it for $100. Okay. Right. It just popped in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, have we got any old business to take care of? You know his name? No. I don't know his. Okay, we have a new bit. You know, when you ever come here, and he started that every fifth Sunday having a communion, and I talked to Brother Daniel this morning, really, I think communion is all right to have communion, but you know, having it every fifth month might be putting pressure on people, you know. Like some people may not want to do it or something like that. Yeah. Have it Easter and Thanksgiving. Christmas. Well, Christmas, whatever. Yeah. Well, I think it would be fine. No, I mean, I mean don't you your say so. Do what do you think? We, do we have a motion to change it? We got two motions to change it, so we stick here. So. Okay, it'll be now Easter. Easter and Christmas. And Christmas. Christmas. Two most important things, you know. Okay. Well, for us and God too, you know. Yeah. Okay. Y'all have to help me remember <laughs> that, because I may pop up. Well, next Sunday's fifth Sunday. We're going to have communion. <laughs> okay. But so, uh, no, help we, me remember that we changed it. Okay. And right here, that book you don't look at. Okay. I'll I'll take a look at it after a while. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to bring up. And I know probably the result is going to be we don't need it. But we do. Because as long as we're recording the services to put on Facebook and YouTube and the radio station, we have to have it amplified in order for the recorders to pick it up. Because if you try to record... <coughs> And it's at a low level, and you try to amplify it after it's recorded, all you get is static. You get more static than you do the words that people say. It. It's not that bad when people uh, uh, sing, because they're louder anyway. But if we turn this mic off, and I talk, it barely comes in on the recorders. Now, we've been having trouble with that head for about three or four weeks now. And I came up last week and cleaned the contacts and it's still doing it. I noticed it today. It just cut it on and off. I would like to make a proposal. I will go and get a price down at Alpha Music, but I would like to make a a proposal to buy a new head. It probably would be around four hundred dollars, a little more, a little less, for what we need. So I would like to make a, a proposal, and I'll let somebody else make the motion on it. I think it'd be good. Okay. 
Right here, sick. Sick. Okay. So I'll go this week and try someone. And uh, next Sunday we'll discuss it again. And we'll open the doors to John Black to come. Okay, now I'm going to ask Rose. Would it be possible to get you to start posting the attendance and the offering every Sunday? Oh, well, like we used to. Well, got to. Okay. I really appreciate it. That, that, that way we know, you know what's coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now you want to give your report? <laughs> well, you covered everything so far. Uh, I can give you a report of what's left in the bank as of December the 31st we had a a total of $7,541.31 in the bank. I made a deposit last week so it will be close to the $8,000 that we're talking about. Uh, we I'm going to let the church know that I did pay off the loan. Yes, you did pay your money in full. And uh, we spent quite a bit through the month of December in Christmas uh, giving to y'all the ones that, the money that we bought. And uh, we had a gas bill of $137.43, a water bill, and our Christmas bags that we did was $132. And then we gave Tanner the money. And the love offering that we did you. And it all totaled up to 764. We took in $357. It was kind of skimpy that month, but we'll make it up. Well, December is always a. It's a head, heavy month. Yeah. I mean, it is yeah. for church, it is for the household. Right. And we may spend a little more on gas this year because we really need to leave that heater on low so that doesn't freeze up Right. Well. But we do need to make sure we turn this electric off. Yes. Even though we don't pay the power bill, we need to make right. sure it's turned off. Well, if we leave the, if we leave the heat on, we may end up having to pay the power bill. Well, yeah, if we start to you know, charge, if the town right. starts so getting too deep. It would be a good idea for this. Plus, if we leave that on, we won't need that bar if you can well, okay. Because they won't read that much moisture. Yeah, okay. So that's going to save us, what was it, $50, I think? Yeah, something like that. Five hours. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just drop that since we're going to be able to hang on. Okay. It's making a sense to spend the money where we don't have to. Right? Thank you. Does anybody else have anything? If not, did you have them on? Okay. Uh, if not, uh, I hear a motion to close the doors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, next Sunday, I ain't never done this, and I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm going to. God's leading me toward a three-part uh, sermon that will last for three Sundays. And he's been dealing with me with that for a pretty good while, but I just kind of put it over on the side and didn't really pay attention to it. But he told me this morning, sitting right back there, that I was going to do it. So, next Sunday, if God will, which I'm sure it's his will, the way he talked to me this morning, we'll be, uh, turn back. We didn't lock you out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to give you your nomination. <laughs> but anybody?
I think God's going to send her over here just for that reason. And I've been praying for her. I love Louise to death. And uh, that piano needs to be played. Amen. Well, all minds and hearts are clear. Amen. Fellowship one another.